Okay, everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to use MEXC Global Exchange. All right. Now, of course, the reason why um, we open up accounts on, you know, so many different exchanges is because not all exchanges offer the same coins. So in this particular case, right, I wanted to be able to buy a little bit of this coin called U. Um, UFC coin, right? But it's available on a lot of decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap, etc. But of course, the only issue with that is, is that for me to use it on Uniswap, and let's say I just wanted to get $100 worth of UFC, UFO coin, right? I just want to spend 100 bucks on it. Um, certain coins that I consider extremely risky, etc. You know, I don't, I don't bet the farm on, right? But, you know, if they turned out to be something incredibly huge, and, you know, right now we're moving through a gaming um, kind of boom right now, I just want to get my hands on a few different uh, gaming coins, right? So I'm, I said, you know what, let me buy 100 bucks worth of this um, UFO games coin. And the difference with, of course, me buying it on, on here is I'm paying, you know, maybe... Uh, less than a dollar for for um, for a transaction, whereas yes, on Uniswap and the decentralized exchanges, I'm paying a hundred and something dollars, right? So I'm not going to do that. So I created an account over here, and do me a favor, guys, support the channel. Um, go ahead and create a free account on Maxi Global by using our link in the description of this video be greatly appreciated. All right, so what you're gonna do when you go ahead and create your account and you know do your different security things, you know, add your Google Authenticator, um, login code to it, um, bind it to your phone number, uh, you know, put in those different security measures in place, then you just come around here and let me, let's take a walk around. Now, here is what we're gonna do. So over here where you want to trade, right here, you can select spot trading, which is the normal type of trading that we do. Margin trading, I advise you not to do that unless um, you're an experienced trader. Um, you can buy crypto with Visa or MasterCard, etc. So for here, this is spot trading. But before that, let's go to your assets. This is the other most important part. Obviously, this is where all of your accounts are, right? So if you're planning on sending crypto over here, Okay, and in this case, uh, what I did was I sent some XRP over here, but I'm going to exchange this XRP for USDT and then buy uh, the UFO coin. All right, so here I am, of course, in your spot account. This is where you see all of your different coins, right? And any coin that you want to deposit to or withdraw from, you just look to the right of it and you see your options right here. Right. So if I wanted to deposit BTC, for example, I just come over here and I would click deposit. And I click here to generate an address. This is the first time that you're doing it. Right. The first time that you're um, creating an address, just click on generate address and then it will give you, you know, an address um, for you to use. So you just send to that address and then it will be deposited into my account. So that's how you um, you make a deposit you know, from any crypto. And likewise, if I want to withdraw, it would be the same thing. So, you know, you, know, you gotta tick that you acknowledge, et cetera, right? And um, here now, of course, I would choose what is it that I wanna withdraw. So if I say, hey, I want to withdraw Bitcoin Cash, for example, right? It asks you to enter the address. So you, you know, just very straightforward, follow the instructions, enter the address, how much do you want to send, and then submit, right? And it'll probably ask you for your um, you know, security code. They'll send you a text or maybe a confirmation email and your Google authentication code as well. Whatever security measures you have in place, they would ask for that. All right, so that's very simple how you withdraw and um, and deposit. Now, this is very similar to KuCoin, where you see this thing about transfer, right? And so let's, let's see exactly what we mean here. Now, if I go 
up here to trade, right? And I go to spot trading. Now, you all would have seen before, you all would have seen before where um, I had some XRP, right? So I'm coming down here now and I realize, okay, XRP, I want to trade it for USD Tether, right? So here it is available. 94.75 xrp okay so i'm going to look at the current prices look to the left and you can see what is currently being sold for the best sell order here's the best buy order so far so you do limit trade if you want to trade at a particular set price you do market trade if you want to just get this thing right here right now and I don't want to wait. I just want to get it at the best available price. I would advise that you only do that if you're just spending a little bit of money. I mean, if you're talking about spending thousands and thousands of dollars, I wouldn't advise a market execution because it could end up buying, you know, this coin way up here if it fills all of these orders. But if it's a small amount, that's pretty much not going to happen, right? So in this case, I'm going to do a market sell. Right, so if I do limit sell at this price, because this is the best buy order, if I sold 100%, I would get $105. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and just do market, sell the maximum, and I'm going to say sell XRP. Okay, so I put in that order, and as you can see, it converted. Here it is, 104 USDT. Now, what I what do I want to do? I want to go buy some UFO games. So I'm coming up here. I'm going to type in UFO. There it is, USDT. And as you can see, this has already gone up, you know, 400%. And um, that was kind of frustrating because I was trying to buy it uh, I wanted to buy it for a few days, and the gas fees were just ridiculous. So, I mean, imagine you want to spend, you know, um, 20 bucks, 30 bucks on a particular coin. You say, I'm going to buy this, and I'm just going to hold it. Let's see where it goes, right? You've had people that have done that, uh, and, you know, you hear some of the stories. Hey, I, I bought $20 worth of a coin a year ago, and now it's worth $100,000 or something, you know. You never know if you get lucky. But... Um, you know, you imagine just wanting to buy $20 of a particular coin and you're paying a hundred and something dollars on a gas fee. So that's the difficult thing about when things are done on the Ethereum network, right? Tough. But with, like I said, this now, it costs me practically nothing. So here I am. And if I have limit and I go to the best sell price, I realize I can get three million seven hundred and fourteen thousand nine hundred and fifty ufo coins right for a hundred and four dollars right um so there you go so if I, i'm gonna go ahead and do that because at this point i really don't care if it comes back down you know 50 percent or whatever it is this is something because i know gaming is booming right now i'm just gonna buy it and we'll see where it goes. Otherwise, I don't consider this a huge risk. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to say market at this point. And I want to buy UFO. Oh, invalid quantity. Okay. Okay, let me just get back over this here. Hold on, okay. Let me refresh this page. Because sometimes it gets a little quirky when you're going from the market or limit order back to market order. So I'm just going to start fresh. I'm going to click market, optimal price. There it is. I want to spend all my USDT by UFO. Okay. And here you go. I have three... 3,676,000 UFO. And I'm going to just 
pretty much put that down and forget about it. Okay, I'm not going to be sitting here just watching UFO all the time. If it turns out to be something incredible over the next six months to a year or so, then great. Other than that, I'm going back to my normal type of trading. So here, that that's it, guys, in a nutshell, um, right? So everything is pretty, you know, derivatives, you know, if you want to increase your leverage, right, you can you can use the their ETF market, futures market, um, you know, like I said, if you go, if you're getting into that kind of stuff and with, with certain things with margin, you know, make sure you're an experienced trader. You don't want to lose all of your funds. Um, so yeah, there you go. Spot trading, margin trading, it's all right there. In the finance area, you can see where you can vote and receive airdrops. So a lot of different options. They got some good things going on here. Um, as a matter of fact, I think now that I'm looking at this, I think any exchange that you use, guys, it makes sense to actually buy some of those coins. So I'll probably buy some of their actual token. Um, yeah. All right. So, um, so guys, that was just a quick tutorial on a very simple way, the basics of using the Max C Global Exchange. You know how to withdraw and deposit. You know how to withdraw and deposit. You know how to um, how to trade it. So that's pretty much the basics of what you need. Enjoy and take care, guys.